your turtles have laid eggs. What do you do now? Well, you wait. You could just leave them here and wait, but they are vulnerable. Eggs take several days to hatch. The hatching process does take place during the day, but it is quicker at night. And in the meantime, these eggs need protection. Zombies and all their variants want to break turtle eggs. So that's zombies, zombie villagers, husks if you're in the desert or near the desert, zombified piglins and drowned. So you want to protect them. You could light this up. So at least you won't get anything spawning nearby. And then you wait and try and fight them off. You could build enclosures around each of them. You could also put a block above them. Zombies will try and walk on the eggs and break them. If you put a slab or a block directly above the egg, it is protected. There's no way the zombies can break it. Your other option is to move the eggs. Now to move them, you need silk touch tools. Can be any tool at all, so long as it's got silk touch on it. Get off. Stupid sheep. <gasps> and that's what happens. Any mob can walk on them and can break them. Thanks for the demonstration. Let's get these ones up quickly before that sheep comes back. There we go, that's one. We'll use the shovel next time. There we are. And we might use the hoe. You can use a pickaxe, whatever you want. Ah. We've got our eggs collected. Now we head back to base and let's make it safe to hatch these eggs. Now if you want to hatch eggs, you have to place them on sand or they won't hatch. It can be beside the water, it can be on a stretch labelled as beach. It doesn't have to be, it just has to be on sand. And it can be on ordinary sand or on red sand. So we'll pop our three eggs down and you can place them all in one block or you can place them on separate ones. You can only have a maximum of four eggs per block. And now to protect them, light it up, put a fence around it. I am putting a fence around it because I want to be ready for the next stage. As I said, just put a block over the top and it's protected. The block on top isn't necessary once you've got a fence around it. I've just got it there as a reminder as that's all you have to do if you want. And now we wait. If you're waiting for these eggs in survival and AFK, make sure that you've got a block above your head too to prevent phantom spawning. Turtle eggs take a random amount of time to hatch. I've been waiting five nights. These ones are very slow and these two, one, two, have just gone to stage one of hatching. Back to waiting. Okay, many nights later, I really have the slowest turtle eggs, but this is stage two. They're, oh, they're all on stage two. Right. More waiting. My goodness, there we are, all four at once. Oh, they were the slowest turtles I've ever seen. Now, we've got four babies. We could leave this as this. We could let them out. They can make their way back to the ocean. Turtles are very slow across land, but the block they hatch on is their home beach and they will always return to it to lay eggs. So if you want to free range your turtles, probably best to hatch them near water. Now you can just play the waiting game again, or you can speed up the process a little by feeding your baby turtles seagrass and just keep feeding them seagrass and then you still have to wait a bit. And there's one. Did we get a shoot from it? Yes, we did. There's a shoot. Now these turtles, the babies, are so small that they will suffocate on soul sand because they will be wholly within the space of the block, even if it looks like they're sitting on top. So don't have soul sand anywhere near them. I'm going to feed these guys up. I'm going to get some more shoots. I'm then going to breed them once more so that I can have five shoots because you need five 
to make the turtle shell helmet. Woohoo! There's number two. Anyway, that is how you care for and hatch turtle eggs and then grow the turtles to get shoots. Four. Another whole process starts all over again. And remember, turtles can't break their own eggs. <laughs>